Hello, my people. Welcome to my channel. share for other people to join today we are coming to discuss yet another edition of how to apply to colleges in canada it is one of the surest way to migrate to canada and it is the safest way please share and let's begin we need more people to know about this information in order to apply to Canada and study as well as migrate with your family. Please share. We will start in about two minutes. If you haven't watched my previous videos on two of the schools that I share tutorials on how to apply and gain admission in those colleges, please go through my videos and watch how to apply to those schools, gather the information that you need and apply to those schools. It is so easy in gaining admission in Canada and eventually moving to Canada. Please share for others to also benefit from this tutorial. We will begin in one minute. Okay, my people, so welcome to my channel once again. I am Efo Kukwidia. Do well to share the video for other people to also benefit. Today's episode is about Holland College, and I will run you through how to apply to Holland College, which is in the Nova Scotia region. The benefits that a school can offer to international students and how you can also gain admission and eventually move to Canada successfully. So we will watch some few video about international students who are in that college and how they see that college and how they want people to come to that college, okay? I um, actually moved from Jamaica, <laughs> much warmer than here. <laughs> first impression for Holland College were people were like the staff were taking care of students and they were trying to understand what student needs. They really rooted for um, the students that came from other countries. They really tried to help make them settle in. It wasn't just about the academic part of it, but also the socializing. You know, they knew that a lot of students here were, were on their own for the most part. Everybody knew each other and but that made a like a strong sense of community it wasn't what i expected our college to be <laughs> i remember walking through the campus um, when i first came and i was like okay yeah i made the right choice <laughs> it's convenient over here to get to any any point any spot from holland college there there are lots of gross grocery stores and restaurants some really you know nice coffee shops uh, museums, uh, libraries. Well, for me, it was finding a better life and a better place for me and my family, for my daughter especially. Once you know your path, the um, Holland College will definitely get you to where you need to be. Do the research on residences, do the research on the programs that you'd want to study here. If you are not sure what to do in life, Holland College can help you define what's next. Holland College can help you define what's next. Okay, so that is all about Holland College. And we'll move straight ahead on some of the benefits that a particular school has for international students. But just like the way I've mentioned in my previous videos, it is not all schools that are good for international students. When I say good, I am not talking about 
the academic requirement or the knowledge that you gain in that particular school. When I say good, I am referring to the opportunities that an international student can get when they attend certain schools as against certain schools. So before you apply to any college or any university in Canada, you always have to make sure that that particular school is IDL school. IDL means International um, Technical Learning Institution. So the school will always have to be accredited in order to um, give students, international students, the opportunity to get a postgraduate work permit. So we'll move straight to the internet to check, first of all, if Holland College is designated learning institution that can offer international students um, a postgraduate work permit when they complete their program. So first you go to RCC webpage, When you go to RCC webpage, you will search for ideal schools. You search for the idea of schools in order to check whether Holland College, it's authorized for international students to get postgraduate work permits when they complete their program. Please share for other people to also benefit from this particular program or tutorials that I am sharing. So this is the official page in checking whether any school you want to apply to is under the designated learning institution, okay? So this particular school that we are coming to look at it's in the Nova Scotia region. Please share for other people to benefit from this particular program that I am sharing with you. It is very important that we share information with people that really need it. So sorry, um, Holland College is in Prince Edward Island. Okay, it's in Prince Edward Island. You, you click the province that the school is located and then you just type the name of the school and the school will pop up. So if you look at your far end, that says offers PGWP, PG postgraduate work permit eligibility. So you see it is yes, 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 yes for all their campuses. All right, so we are good to go to go and look for 
go and um, go through the the uh, programs that they offer and then you select which one that best suits whatever you want to learn and then you apply for it so now we can go to holland college website and then we check the programs that they have and then we apply for one it is very simple so we are on the official page of holland college you go to the menu session and then you go to programs when you go to programs you see a lot of programs that they offer they offer certificate programs for high school graduates and they offer postgraduate diploma for um, degree holders too as well so you go through the business uh, programs that they offer they have accounting technology administrative assistance um, all the way down and they have data analysis for postgraduate um, certificate which is for uh, degree holders and sometimes for shs leavers so we will pick human resource management which is a general business program And we are on human resource page the program overview you go through the program overview this program is open for international students you can see over here it is open for international students for 2024 and it is a one-year program in september this program is for next year september intake and it is open for international students you look at the admission requirement it is very important that you always look at admission requirements to make sure that you meet the admission requirement before you apply. So we have the admission requirements for um, grade 12 or equivalent with credits at or above the general level. So this is in relation to high school, um, high school certificate that you have and then it is also good for people who have a degree um, certificate too as well. If you look at, if your first language is not English, you please review our English language requirement. So if your country, your the country's first language is not English, you have to click here to check the English language requirement certificate that you have to write in order to apply for this program. If your country, best language is English, you don't need to worry about your English language requirements. All that you need to do is to just apply and then attach all your um, degree certificate or high school certificate. So we look at the tuition fee. The tuition fee, it's 10407 Canadian dollars for international students. We are concentrating on international students for now. This is for people with PR or Canadian citizen. So international students, $10,407, one of the cheapest tuition fee in Canada when it comes to colleges. One of the cheapest tuition fee in Canada when it comes to colleges. And if you have watched my last two videos, you remember that I mentioned that when it comes to Canadian colleges and schools, they always don't require you to pay for all your tuition fee before you start your 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 classes you can always request for a schedule payment where they can give you a very flexible payment terms month on month for you to pay before that particular academic term ends that can also give you an ample time to work part-time and to get enough money to pay for your tuition fee month on month mm -hmm. until the academic year or the academic semester ends. So this is the opportunity, graduate opportunities. This tells you what you can become when you successfully complete the program. And then the last page also shows you the various subjects that will be taught under this particular program. All right. When you are satisfied with 
this particular program breakdown that is uh, the program overview the admission requirement the teaching fee the opportunities that comes with this particular program when you graduate and the program the subject that will be taught under this program then you can click on apply all right but before we click on apply you can also check the awards and scholarships that this school has for international students and i can tell you for a fact that they have awards various awards for international students they have internal awards they have provincial awards they have tuition waivers and they have external awards so you can go through their external awards and there are various four categories of awards and definitely you are going to get something that is for an international student okay when you are okay with the program that you selected we selected um let me go back to human resource management when you are okay with all this particular information that has been given for that particular program you now click on apply and then you will come to the portal where it will give you the chance to apply okay you start your application over here all right when you click on start application it will take you to this dashboard there are two things that you need to do in order to start with your application. One is to create your dashboard account. And secondly, is to now create your application itself. We'll watch a video on how to create your dashboard account and subsequently how to apply as an international student. So stay tuned. Hello and thank you for joining. This video will show you how to create your Holland College dashboard account and our subsequent videos will show you how to create an application, submit all your forms required for your application, and so much more. So without further ado, let's start creating your Holland College dashboard account. In order to reach our create account page and revisit your account after it's been created, go directly to our Holland College homepage www.hollandcollege.com. For those with an existing account, click on Login and then My Dashboard to visit your dashboard account. For all first-time users, click on Apply Today and then on New Online Application Form, Recruit. From here, you can click on Create My Dashboard Account and fill in all relevant personal information as well as information about your program. The last step will be to enter your personal password, which you'll use for all future logins. Make sure your password is memorable, as it's something that you'll be using several times between now and the time that you become a student at Holland College. There's only one rule to follow when creating your password. Your password must be a minimum of six characters. This can include a combination of letters, numbers, symbols, or anything you prefer. So to give you an idea of what you should be putting in each of the data fields, I'm going to create a test subject called Gym Test. You'll see this section here regarding text messages. This is entirely up to your own preference whether you would like to receive notifications from Holland College via text. I'm going to select Do Not Allow. Whenever you're adjusting your birth date, make sure you change the year first. So for Jim, he was born in 1993, in July, on the 26th, and he is a Canadian citizen. 
so we'll say that Jim's address is 140 Weymouth Street in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. The next bit of information that you have to include is your high school academic history. So for Jim, he went to Charlottetown Rural, so I'm going to start to type in Charlottetown Rural and see if the school name comes up here. There it is right there, Charlottetown Rural High School. If you're typing in your high school and the name doesn't come up here, click right here down below where it says click here if school is not listed. From here, you can enter, enter in your school name and school address. But as I mentioned, Jim went to Charlottetown Rural High School. So we have it here in the list, so I'll just click right there. From here, I can indicate which month and year Jim attended Charlottetown Rural. Selecting September of 2008 and graduating in June of 2011. For entry term, Jim is interested in the 2021 to 2022 academic year, so I'll click here. As for his ACM, he's interested in business administration. And again, for the last step, make sure your password is a minimum of six characters. Now we're ready to create my Hong College dashboard account. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos on learning how to request information from our advisors, learn how to submit your application. All right, so that is how to create your dashboard for the first time when you want to apply as an international student in um, Holland College. Um, stay tuned. We'll watch the actual process in how to apply to one of the programs in Holland College as an international student. So you first need to create your home dashboard and then from there you can now be able to apply as an international student to one of the programs that we went through earlier on. Alright, so let's watch um, how to actually apply to one of the programs in Holland College. Hello and welcome back. Now that you've created your Hong College dashboard account, it's time to check out some of its great features. For this video, we'll showcase how to create an international application. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to return to my dashboard, I'll first visit the Hong College homepage, www.hongcollege.com. Next, I'll click on the drop down menu for login and select my dashboard. Once I've arrived to the My Dashboard login page, I'll enter in my email and previously created password. For this application, I'll use a previously created test subject by the name of International Test. Now I've entered into my dashboard, I can click on Create a New Application to start International's application, and then click on Start a New International Application. Although we originally selected Business Administration as his program of interest when his dashboard account was created, his interests have changed so he'll now be applying for our Carpentry program. So we'll click on Change Your Academic Year or Program. He's still interested in the 2021 to 2022 academic year, but now instead of being interested in Business Administration, he's interested in our Carpentry program. Next, he'll hit Submit. Please share for other people to benefit from these video tutorials. It is very important that people get to know how to apply themselves to colleges in Canada, and then they can eventually move to Canada to live the dream that they really want to. Let's continue to watch the video.
is most of the information that he provided when creating his account is still valid, you'll see that some of the data fields remain automatically populated. So now we'll fill in the remainder of the fields. International is an international applicant, has no social insurance number, is from Australia, his first language is English. If his first language was not English and he selected French, Spanish, or another language, this would automatically populate our English language requirements for English proficiency results. But as I mentioned, international is English speaking, so I'll click there. As you'll see here, his name and birth date are both automatically filtered in. So we'll add in that his gender is in fact male. He has a preferred cell phone number. In that he heard about Holland College through an on-campus event. With all data fields selected and submitted, we'll hit save and continue. This next section covers his academic and his college plans while studying here at Holland College. As we mentioned, he is interested in the 2021 to 2022 academic year. There's also the student type option which gives a list of options, and if you're not sure if you fall into one of these categories, you can simply click on Unknown. And again, he's interested in the carpentry program. In terms of college plans, he is interested in receiving information about varsity sports. Specifically, he's interested in our basketball team. Also interested in living in residence while at Holland College. And now he's clicked yes for each of these it means that he's going to hear from each of these departments within Holland College to help give him more information on both athletics and residence. So now he'll click on save and continue to continue his application. The next section here, high school credit, already has his listed information from whenever he created his account for Sydney, Australia High School and the address as well as the time that he spent at this high school. As you can see here, he's currently not enrolled in high school, he has not received a GED, and was not enrolled in Holland College adult education courses. If he was, however, you could click on yes, and then type in whichever courses he's taken, be it upgrading for math, biology, or any other courses offered through adult education at Holland College. But for his situation, he did not complete any Holland College adult education courses, so he'll click on no. He also did not attend any universities or colleges. However, if he did, he could click yes and then add in his college or university information here. But again, we'll just click no for international's application. This next section here, titled Agent Information, is only relevant if you've been working with an agent throughout your application process or an agent is acting on behalf of the student. If this is the case, simply click yes, and you'll get this extra drop-down information where you can enter in the agent's full name, agent's email, as well as the agency that they work for. So this particular field is for people who have agents that they are applying on their behalf. That is the only time the agent will fill that portion of the form. If you are applying on yourself, by yourself, or yourself, you don't need to input any agent's name because you don't have any agent applying for you. You are applying for yourself, so you don't need to apply. You don't need to fill that particular session of the form. Next section here, titled Students with Learning Requirements, has to do with whether or not you have a physical or learning requirement during your time of study at Holland College. If you select yes, this information goes directly to our Student Support Services team to ensure that you have everything that you need to be successful for whenever you arrive at Holland College. This next section here, I'll just enter in International's Emergency Contact Information. The last section of the application here is where you acknowledge that you've visited both the privacy statements for students as well as our privacy webpage. 
Once you've done each of these, you can simply click on please acknowledge the following before you submit your application and then enter in your signature by typing your name. You also have the option to preview before your submission for your entire application and whenever you're ready, click submit application. After clicking submit application, you'll come to your order summary page. Here you can see that you have a Holland College International application with an application fee of $100. If you were able to attend a Holland College event on campus or virtual and received a discount code or application fee waiver, this is where you can apply that code. In this case, International Test was able to attend a virtual event, so he'll enter in a promotional code that he received at that event. And then click Apply. You'll notice now that the discount has been applied to the total cost, making the total cost $0. Now he can click Submit to finish his application. If you were not able to attend an event and receive a discount code, you'll have the option to click on Make an Online Payment to complete your payment. But again, in International Test case, we will click Submit. From this page, you'll see that the application has been submitted, and you can click here to return to the My Dashboard page. Once you're back to the My Dashboard homepage, you'll see that your application is now active on here, but there's also action required. From here, you can click View. After clicking View, you'll see that you're automatically taken to the section that requires action. In this case, it's Supplemental Items and Documents. This section allows you to upload your admission requirements to be considered for the program to which you've applied. For International, you'll see that there are several different supplemental items that are required, and this can vary based on which program that you apply to. When you're ready to upload a document, simply click on the Choose Files button. Then find the appropriate document matching that admission requirement. Once you've found that document, click Upload to upload this document to your files. Continue to upload your documents until all admission requirements have been met. Once all admission requirements have been met, our admissions team will review your application for all available seats for your selected program. From here you can click on My Dashboard to return to your Dashboard homepage, where you'll see that your status is now turned to Submitted. If you're interested in applying to another program, you're able to follow these same steps to complete the application process a second time. Please be aware that there is an application fee attached to each individual program application. Thank you again for watching. We hope that this video has helped ease your application process. Please tune into our next video to learn how to. So this is how to apply to Holland College. It is so simple and easy. You don't need anybody to help you out to apply to colleges in Canada. If you follow this page, you'll be able to know how to apply to all the colleges that I'll be sharing on my platform. Remember that it is not every school that you can apply to and attend. If you are an international student, the main purpose of you coming to Canada is to be able to get the time and the chance to work, to get work permit after you are done with your program. So please remember, you always need to make sure that that school you are applying to, it's an DLI, legislated institution before you can make the move any other school that is not dli authorized you will not be able to get postgraduate work permit when you complete your program i have had series of people sending me messages in my inbox asking me about what they should do because they have admission to schools that are not dli um, authorized and when they go ahead to attend those schools they will not be able to get postgraduate work permits when they are done. Please share this video and stay tuned. I'll bring you more of the schools that will benefit an international student, whether you have an SHS certificate or you have a degree program. Thank you for watching and please share. Bye-bye.